Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a car falling from the sky effect, quick and easy in After Effects. Let's get started. First we need to screenshot the first frame of the video. Make sure you're at the very beginning of the clip, then take a screenshot. You can use the FX console plugin, or if you don't have it, go to Composition, then Save Frame as and select File or Photoshop Layers, and export the frame as an image. Once you have the image, drag and drop it into Photoshop. Use the Remove tool to select the car and let Photoshop do its magic. In my case, it worked perfectly as always. Now right-click on the image right here and choose Quick Export as PNG to save it. Save it in the same folder as your After Effects project and give it a name. For example, Clean Background. Now close Photoshop, since we don't need it anymore, and drag the Clean Background image into your AE timeline. Now I'll scroll forward about 1 second, since I don't want the falling effect to last too long, and cut the clean layer there. Then I'll drag the original clip forward so it continues right after the clean image. So the first step is done. As you can see, we now have a clean background with no car and the original clip. The second step is to freeze the first frame and mask out the car for the falling animation. Make sure you're at the beginning of the original clip, then duplicate the layer. Right click the duplicated layer, go to time, and select freeze frame. This will lock that frame so we can animate the car. Drag the frozen layer above the clean background layer and align it so the start and end points match perfectly. Let's rename the frozen layer to car only to stay organized. Make sure to trim the layer so it matches the length of the clean background layer. Now we need to isolate the car from the background. Select the pen tool and carefully mask out the car. Make the mask as clean and precise as possible for the best result. Once you've finished isolating the car, we can move on to the main step, creating the falling animation. Scroll to the end of the car only layer, press P on your keyboard to open the position property, and click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then go to the beginning of the layer and move the Y position all the way up until the car is out of view. Now select both position keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to the graph editor, right click, select edit speed graph, and create a smooth curve. Let's quickly preview the animation. It looks good, but we're not finished yet. To enhance the effect, I'll add a shake right after the car hits the ground. I will use one from my shakes pack. You can get the AM film shake presets from the link in the description, and I've also made plenty of shake tutorials on the channel. Let's check it one more time. With the shake applied, it looks much better, but it still needs a little retouching. The falling looks a bit static since it's just an image, and I want it to feel like a real video. To do this, we can create a new camera layer. Make sure the camera type is set to 2 node and the preset is 35mm, then hit OK. Next move the camera layer above the car only layer and trim it to match the length of the car only and clean background layers. Next enable 3D on both the car only and clean background layers. Scroll to the end of the camera layer and open its transform settings. Click the point of interest and position stopwatches to add keyframes. Then scroll to the beginning of the camera layer and select the dolly cursor tool. Press C on your keyboard until it appears, or choose it from the camera tools menu. Let's slightly zoom into the image, like this. Next select the pan cursor tool. Press C on your keyboard until it appears, or choose it from the camera tools menu. I'll move the image down a bit like this so the zoom out starts from the sky. Let's quickly preview the animation. It looks great, we've just created a zoom out effect and the image really comes to life. Now let's smooth out the animation. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to the graph editor and create a smooth curve. Let's preview the animation one more time. It looks good, but I'll tweak the beginning to make the zoom out a bit faster. That feels much better now. Next I'll add some wiggle to the image, because just the zoom out alone doesn't feel dynamic enough. Open the camera transform settings, and you'll see the orientation property. It's important to hold alt and click the stopwatch next to orientation. This lets us add an expression to create automatic movement. Type in the expression wiggle 2, 2 and then preview the video again. Now you'll have a subtle, smooth wiggle. It looks amazing now, but you might notice black edges, like in my case. To fix this, select the clean background layer and apply the motion tile effect. Enable mirror edges and set the output height to 150. The vertical black edges are fixed. If you notice black edges horizontally as well, set the output width to 152. The animation looks great, I really like it. For extra smoothness, enable motion blur on the car only and clean background layers, and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.